Spool holders. While recycling them isn't always an option, we're usually left with a ton of them just taking up space. So, what do you do? Hi, I'm Corey with Hatchbox, and I'll be going over one very inexpensive way to turn your empty 3D filament spools into useful storage compartments. We've designed these compartments to require little to no tools, making it easier for everyone to take advantage of them. Here's what you'll need. Empty spool, print files for the following. Four storage compartments and four pins. Here are the steps to creating this practical but easy to make storage compartment. Step one, let's start with downloading the STL files located in the description below. There are two files that you'll need which include the storage compartment and the pins to hold the compartments in place. What we like to do once we have our print files is to create a print list. This helps us remember how many pieces we're going to need. Now for this project, you're going to need four storage compartments and four pins. We used our very own Hatchbox PLA white to print the compartments used in this video. We printed them on a Cartesian style printer with general print settings for PLA. Of course, each printer is different when it comes to its settings, but the two things that you want to make sure are set correctly will be your printing speed and print temperatures. However, if you've already dialed in your printer for printing Hatchbox PLA, then you're all set and ready to go. Once all your pieces have been printed, it's time to get everything ready for assembling. Before you begin, we recommend testing the pins by inserting them into the holes in the compartments. They were designed to fit tightly, but if you're having trouble inserting them into the holes, you can always sand them down a bit to make it a little easier. A Dremel tool can be used and is probably the quickest option, but sandpaper and your almighty hand work just as well. Now that all of your pins have been sanded down, it's time to assemble. We can begin by adding one compartment at a time. Insert the pins into the compartments so that the pin's body is no longer visible and the two end pins are the only things sticking out on both ends. Then you'll want to grab your empty spool like this. Lift open the spool just a little and insert both pins onto the holes at the end of the spools. One thing to note, is to make sure to insert the pins into the hole on the right so it allows the next compartment to be added. After you've added the first compartment, then follow the same instruction for attaching the rest. Your end result should look like this. All four compartments are easily attached and open with this nifty handle. Pretty cool, right? Now, we wanted to give you a bonus step to use in case you would like to set up multiple spools to create a stacked compartment. For this extra step, you will need another spool or spools to create the following two items. Number one, dreidel, and number two, rotator cup. Once you have printed out your dreidel and rotator cup, you can start to assemble the stacked spools. First, take the rotator cup and place it on the center spool hole and hold it into place with these four spacers designed to fit into the outer holes. Once the cup is set, the dreidel is placed into the center hole of the cup, which allows you to stack as many spools onto each other as you like. The rotator cup and dreidel create a space between each spool and allow each one to rotate easily and won't cause friction between them. We thank you for joining us here at Hatchbox for all your 3D filament needs or print files. Visit us at hatchbox3d.com and make sure to hit the subscribe button to get the notification on our next videos. Until next time.